In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a login page in Framer. So there's actually two ways of doing it very quickly and I'm going to show you both of them. Now the first one is you can go inside one of your projects and you can hover over the insert tab and then click it up top left and then scroll down until you see forms. Now in here, as you can see, you can see it says kind of a form builder. So we can just click on that and this will kind of input that in here and you can just place it onto your paper or onto your page over here in inside your display. Now here, as you can see, you'll be able to put in your, basically your name, your email, and then your location. Now we can customize these as much as you want. And of course, give them different input names, etc. However, I think the easier way to do it is actually just by getting the help of AI inside the framer. So let me delete this. You want to go to insert and up top, you want to click on wire framer. And here you want to type in something like create uh, a simple login page. There we go with, um, let's say username and password input fields uh, and a login button at the bottom. Okay. So for example, something like this, of course you can name it whatever you want to, you can give it some more prompting if you want to, but for me, this is going to be it. I'm going to click this button over here. And then in just a few seconds, this framer AI is going to start thinking over here on the left. And there we go. As you can see, it already created the login page over here. It says here's a simple login page layout with space for username and password input and a login button. Okay. So if you go to the right over here, you can see this is how it's going to be visible on your tablet, your phone, and then on the desktop as well over here. And this is pretty much it. So of course you can, um, set whatever you want over here. You can customize it according to your own needs, but this essentially can be your login page. Now we can use the AI to customize it. You can customize it uh, on your own just by using different uh, options and settings and filters in here inside the framer. But this is essentially how I would go about it. And I think this is the best and quickest way of doing it. So that's pretty much it. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please subscribe to the channel and help me out as well.